Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a quick uh, swatching video. Um, so just a quick disclaimer, this is an adult channel and the videos on this channel are made for adults and in no way or shape and form intended for children or made for children. Um, <clears throat> so I bought myself a set of the Arteza toy markers. I got the 48 set and the only reason I think get that I got the 48 set and not the 120 set is because the 120 set is out of stock. So, I'm just writing on my swatch pad, Arteza Tire Markers 48. So, we're going to swatch them and have a quick look at these and see what we think. So I've heard good things about them. Like I said, I did want, to be honest, the, um, the 120, but I will get them when they come in stock and I've got some spare money. So, the, the 48 set are, are these colours here. As you can see they're in these separate individual trays and there's all the different colours so we'll just take out the first one which is um, a sort of neon colour yeah neon yellow A130 so they're double ended you have like a fine tip on one end very fine tip there as you can see so fine you can't see it and then a, a thicker tip on the other side so they're all like that. Gosh, and I'm fumbling like there's no tomorrow today. Let's crack on. So what we'll do is we will start on this. Now I have to write this like this so I can zoom it in and it's too far close to it. So this is neon yellow and it's A130. So these are water-based pens. Um, so, oh, look at that. That goes on lovely with this sort of brushed end. Oh, look at that colour. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'll just pull these here so I can see them. So I will get the uh, 120 set. I also want to get some of the, um, the rest of the other blends. So the next one is A162 Sapphire Yellow. Yeah, I like, I do like the fact that you've got a very fine tip, which is great for tiny little gaps. And then you've got this lovely sort of brush at the end. Oh, it's, these are lovely. Look at that colour. So I bought a book that I really want to use these in, and I'll just show you it. If I can find it. Here it is. And it's this, this Jade Summer one, which is the Intricate Flowers. If I just zoom out. You haven't seen this one yet because I haven't officially hauled it, but it's so in-depth I can use the bigger tips on the bigger bits and the really fine tips on the really tiny bits. So that's one of the reasons I bought them was to, to use it in this book and I can't wait to get started in that book later on today or possibly tomorrow. Next one is Lemon Yellow A112. So these are waters so they shouldn't go through. One, one, two. Let me zoom back in so you can see the colours best. I know I'm I'm right inside on, so. And I'm I admit I am using the big. Oh, look how bright and vibrant that is. So just a little bit of information. The forty-eight set was twenty-five pounds. I think it's twenty-five ninety-nine. When I went to order them, they were out of stock on their website, so I ordered them from Amazon instead. I believe they're out of stock as well now on Amazon. Um, I think part of the thing with what's going on with the pandemic is stocks aren't being replenished because they can't get them into the country. It's the same with the Black Widow pencils, they're out of stock. Um, so just if, if you do want them and they're out of stock, just be patient. They will come back into stock as soon as Arteza and Amazon are able to get them. I have got some, Amazon, um, some Arteza points because uh, if you buy from their website, at least in the UK, this one is Peach, A119. You are given um, some points and you have to use them within a year of getting them. So because I ordered mine on New Year's Eve, my Everblend, so I've got till New Year's Eve to use those up. 
and they give you so much off a purchase you can uh, keep them and save them up or you can just trade them in I probably just trade them in when I order my next thing from their website so um, yeah I don't know if they do that in um, on the US site but I know on the UK site they do give you uh, points neon orange a136 no, I, I do like this. I love the way these brushes go, this end. It's still thin, but it's not tiny. And oh, these colours are so vibrant. I'm really liking the Arteza product. I do want to get the pencils and some of the other products they've got. I've got a lot of videos I need to film, so I'm doing so much stuff at the moment. I'm trying to sort out Jennifer's room, it's very hard for me to make as many videos as I want. So I'm going to have to make one every day just to keep up with what I want to do. So that's Marmalade Orange, I forgot to put the number on that one, just so we can see. Um, it is A120, so I'll just pop that A120 there. There is a good selection of oranges, there really is, in this um, set. This is orange. And that's A113, A113. I can't wait to use these. These are absolutely stunning. They are blendable, blendable. I can't speak blendable. They're water-based, non-toxic. So when she's older, Jennifer could use these as well. I wouldn't let her have them at the moment because I wouldn't want her to ruin them because she tends to leave the tops off of things and then they dry out, which is okay with a cheap, um, uh, 24 packs of Crayolas, but uh, not on something that costs 25.99. So, but they are good. Look at these colours, coral. That's a lovely colour. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy using these ones. I can see that. For, I can say that for a fact. We're almost at the end of the first tray, actually. That's the thing. There's not that many 48. You think 48 is a lot of colours, but it's not. Blush pink. A132. So these are all the same name colours, I believe, as in the other blends. These are just the water markers instead of the water-based markers. Um, and that's what I wanted. I wanted some markers that were water-based but weren't Crayolas super tips. Nothing, there's anything wrong with them. Um, but like I said, for doing those finer ones. So again, I could use these in Lost Ocean and, and books like that, the, the Joanna Basford books and some of the other ones that have got really small spaces. Um, obviously the Everblends you wouldn't because they're alcohol markers so they would bleed through badly and the Super Tips got quite chunky tips which is fine. This is Wild Pink and it's A124. So I've decided I'm going to do a weekly vlog every other week so next week I'll be doing one. Just if you were waiting for that, if you were hoping I was doing one this week, I'm not. And I'll be doing a colour and catch up, colour and chat soon. Watermelon pink. And that's A110. I like watermelon pink, I think that's a lovely pink. Very nice for a pink rose, I think. So that's the first tray of 12. It's going to be 12, isn't it? 12, 24, 48, yeah. Uh, so now we're on to the more pinks, reds and purples. In fact, there's a lot of purples. I don't think there are many reds, but there are a lot of purples. Next colour is neon pink. So we've had neon orange, neon yellow, and we've got neon pink now. So let's just pop this up here neon pink so sorry this is on sideways yeah, that's very bright I, I again I if there's enough neons I might do just a picture in just the neon colors uh, next one is a bubblegum pink again these are ones that are I missed the number off of it eight eight was it two one one two one one two one one and this one is bubblegum pink I'm glad they have the same names and shades as they do for the um, 
the Everblend markers. It's, it's good because you can see. The next one, I'll show you how thin the, the line is on the uh, the fine tip. So the next one is a fuchsia. It's a good colour. Fuchsia is always a good colour. F U C H S I A A one o six one o six actually says on here um, Arteza. I don't know if you'll be able to read it. Twi marker, water based ink, blendable, and then on the back it says non toxic and tells you which side the brushes are. So let's just see how small this fine one is. So there you go. So that's how fine the fine tip is it's very thin and even if you to use the point on the blend this, this one you can see how thicker that one is just so you've got an idea so let's color this one in oh that's a lovely color I'm I'm impressed with the products that our teaser put out I've got to say I've only bought this and the other blend so far I do intend to get pencils at some point I'm just, I'm just gonna buy the 120 um, but a friend uh, of mine Sarah I posted a picture of these on my Instagram earlier. This is hot pink, A118. Said, um, left a comment saying that she'd bought loads of Arteza stuff for her daughters um, for Christmas because they're such good products and she, they are very good products. She, she, the girls love them. So I think that they are fantastic. I, I, I wish there were more reds in this. There's only like two reds, I think, rose red and ruby red and then we go on to earth red that's not a colour that's in the other blend so next one is rose red A103 maybe it is and I just haven't noted A103 so this is a rose red colour let's have a look at it that's a nice one it's more of an orangey red to me than a red red, but it's a nice colour. Beautiful colour. Now it looks a bit more red. Uh, next one is ruby red. Which is A114. Now that's a lovely red. I must admit, I do like ruby red. It's a beautiful colour. Oh, that's my colour. They are such nice bright colours. Let's have a look at this earth red. Then we're on to the purples. And there's a nice what, one, two, three, four, five, five purpley colours, which is great. Earth red. A205. Have a look at this one. Well, that's, that's a brownie red, but that's a nice colour. That is a very, very nice colour. Next is lavender. So we're on to the purple colours. And that's A121. Very light lavender colour. Oh, that's nice. Next is Egyptian Blue. Let's have a look. It's a very purpley blue. That's a beautiful colour. I must admit these colours are absolutely stunning. I can't wait to get started doing a picture with them. Lilac. And this one is A129. Oh gosh, that's gorgeous. Look at that colour. I really can't wait to have a colour with these. If I didn't have one up on the go in the spare bedroom, I'd go up and come in bed tonight rather than Go into the main room. Orchid purple. 
and that's A253. Can we turn this now? Can we see it? Yes, we can. Lovely. So you can see the writing as well, no? Oh, look at that. Oh, these colours are just amazing. Yep. Nice. I'm getting them all over me. Good job they're non toxic and water based markers. So, burgundy. It's hard for me to write actually this way. A857. Left handed, so it's awkward. Oh, that's a nice one. That's more of a reddy purple. Actually, I must say, I like the burgundy and the ever blends as well. The beautiful colour. I know how people go on about how wonderful Copics are, but um, when you're on a budget like me, I can't afford them. It's as simple as that. I'd love to be able to afford Copics and Holbein's and Karen Dash stuff, but I just can't. I've got a two year old child, so I need to spend money on her, really. Now we're on to the blues and greens. So the first colour is Sage Greed. I'm just going to turn it so I can write properly. I do apologise. And the number is A192. And I want to turn it back so you can actually see me colour it in. That's a lovely green, isn't it? Look at that. Yep, I like that colour. So that's green. Now we're going to get some blues before we go back to green and then back to blue. It's all over the place, but I love it. Mint green. I like mint green. It's normally a lovely colour. Excuse me, sniffling. A134. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That is a nice colour. I will definitely be colouring with these soon. They are beautiful. Next colour is Spearmint Blue. And it is A115. So I really, looking at these colours, I definitely want the 120 set. So. Um, if I ever get them, it might not be for a while, but when I do, I shall do a complete swatch video on all of them. It'll still be in this book, but we'll just do them all again. Probably some of these will run out by then. Arctic Blue, and I like this colour in the Everblends as well. Arctic Blue, A552. These are absolutely lovely. Look at that. That is a gorgeous colour. The next one is Bright Blue A108. Let me just do that. Bright Blue A108. Push that back so you can see it. Wow. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, yes. I like it. These aren't going to last long. <laughs> I'm going to be using these a lot. Next one is Cerulean Blue. Something I can never pronounce that word, so I do apologise for that. But it's always a lovely blue. Oh yeah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Ocean blue. Let's see if this is how I see the ocean. And it's A123. A123. Not long now. 20 minutes. Oh yeah, that reminds me of Cornish beaches on a sunny day, or Madeira, or Tenerife, or anywhere. Oh yes, that is gorgeous. Oh, 
I don't know if it comes across as good on camera, but all my, my life they are stunning. Seafoam Green. And this one is A126. So, there we go. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, yeah, that's a lovely colour as well. <gasps> These are beautiful. I love the way the pen works. I love the way that the pens feel in your hand. They're really comfortable to use. And the colours are just stunning. So I'm going to have to turn it back now because I can't get that close. Next one is Emerald Green, A104. So let's have a look at this one. Oh, I love green. It's one of my favourite colours. Red's my favourite, favourite colour. But I do love the colour green as well. That is beautiful. Oh, look at that. Stunning. It looks very dark, but it's not. And it is a very dark green, but it's, it's gorgeous. Neon green. I'm loving these neon colours. A131. And I am definitely definitely going to have to do a neon picture just using the neons from here because we've got pink green orange and yellow so far so hopefully there'll be a neon blue but i don't know if there is but we'll find out oh that is that, that to me that's gorgeous that is just stunning oh my mandalas are going to be looking absolutely amazing using these apple green a triple one next yeah that's a nice color green as well look at that these are such good colors last one in the third tray before we move on to the final is chartreuse green can't spell a133 this is going to be a nice colour, I can tell. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. That's all I'm saying. I'm just gushing over how gorgeous these colours are because they are beautiful. Okay, next. Ooh, these ones are interesting. All sorts of colours here. Let's start with this one. We've got a cloudy grey. Push this up a bit so you can see it. Cloudy grey. A219. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's a nice grey. The light greys I really love. Yeah, that's nice. And the next one is Periwinkle Blue. And it's A116. Let's have a look. Yeah. Oh, that's a lovely colour, isn't it? There are too many beautiful colours in this set. Not a neon blue, I'd say the nearest thing to a neon would be the Arctic, because that's quite a bright blue. Indigo, I love indigo. And that's A102. So I guess if I was doing neons and I wanted a blue, I'd use Arctic blue, because that would be the nearest one. Oh, I know, I'm gushing again. Indigo is one of my favourite colours, I'm not going to lie. Wow, that is beautiful. And next we have Violet. I'm going to turn it up now. I'm just write this one on first. Got the pen upside down. Violet, and it is A117. Let's turn that there so you can see it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby, that's gorgeous.
Yeah, that's a very nice colour. And then the next one is Royal Purple. There's a lot of purples in here. It's brilliant for purple. I can't wait to get the 120 eventually. I'm not going to buy them once immediately because I've got these. But as soon as these start running down, I'll be looking to get the, the complete set. Because you can imagine all the different shades you've got in that complete, complete set. Oh, it's going to be amazing. I would expect there to be more reds because there's not many reds in here um, at all. Two really. So I would expect there to be a lot more red. Olive green, that's always a useful colour to have. There we go, A135. How are we doing for time? Good. Okay. Yep, yeah, that is a good olive green. Can you imagine? Oh. So. Jungle Green A127. So you can't really see the colours when I hold them like that. So Jungle Green A127. We are very close to the end of the 48 now. Can you imagine how long it would take us to do the 120? I think it took us over an hour to do the 120 on uh, the other blends, all very close to. So. jungle green so I'd imagine when we get the 120 set if we do a full swatch it's going to be the same <coughs> denim blue this is a colour in ever blend A107 that there one two three four we've got exactly the right amount of spaces on here for these oh, that's another nice deep blue colour denim blue is always a good good colour And next we have Noir 101, black in other words. Noir A101. Oh, I love good, a good solid black like that, that's lovely. I am going to use these and I probably will at some point try to blend them just not straight away uh, concrete grey so that's another grey A one two two only two to go that's another nice grey so a very light grey up here and a nice darker one down here which is perfect. Two to go. The next one is Sienna Brown. Oh. And that's A109. It's a nice brown. There's no real browns. This is the only real brown on here, I think. There might be another one. The very last one might be again. I'm not actually sure what it is. It's yellow ochre, so it's going to be a yellowy brown. Oh, I can't get it out. Yellow ochre, the last one. Let's write it down. Yellow ochre, and that number is 204. A204. Whoops. Let's have a look and see. That's lovely. That's all the sandy colour, really, yellow ochre. A very bright sand. Oh, look at that. I definitely, definitely want the 120. So I'm going to zoom out so we can have a look at the whole page. There you go, pretty much. Um, so that's the 48 colours you get in the Trimarker 48 set. Obviously, there's a lot more available because the next setup is the 120, I believe. Um, unless it's went 72. I'm not 100% sure I'll check. Um, let me just have a quick look if I can. Two secs. 
okay yeah i've just had a look on the website it's a hundred there's a set of 100 toy markers as well but they're out of stock actually the 48 are out of stock at the moment the ever blends are out of stock the 120 and the 160 it is in the uk but they do have the skin tones and the gray gray ones in so you know i might get those at some point so yes, normally they are, and I'm looking at the Arteza website, and it's pretty much the same price on Amazon, it's just that you get loyalty bonuses on the Arteza website. Um, let me just have a look. One of the things I'm probably going to get soon is the Iconics, Inconics, um, fine liners. Uh, the Trimarkers dual tipped 100 are normally 49.98 on the Arteza website. And they're twenty nine ninety nine for the forty eight. I think they were twenty five. I'm not sure how much they were. Let me just check on my Amazon to see if I can see. If it tells me how much they were. I'm actually running out of uh, battery power, but I'll just have a quick look at it. Uh, here we are. Twenty markers forty eight. Carry out stock, so it doesn't actually have the price on it, but I think they're around twenty five ninety nine, so maybe a little bit cheaper. But uh, hopefully they'll get them back into stock shortly, and you'll be able to get them. It may take a few weeks, but um, if you want them, I'll put a link to Arteza's website down below, so you can keep an eye on the on the UK one. And if you if you're in America, just uh, just put into uh, Google uh, Arteza, and you'll you'll find the. Um, their website is very easy to find um so yeah that's the 48 set i do want the 100 set at some point um hope you've enjoyed this little swatching video like i said i am going to use them in the uh, jade summer intricate flowers book i'm probably going to start this from page one and work my way through i might try and do a little bit of blending with the pinks and reds um i might not it depends how i feel i might just straight color um, but I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to share this with your friends if you think they're going to be interested. And subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And if you are a subscriber, hit that notification bell. So you're notified every time I put a new video up on the channel. I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.